Hello and welcome back to the channel. Previously I showed you how to create a trait using my constructor version 4. Today we're going to look at creating a trait using my constructor version 5. So to, to begin, just open up my constructor version 5 and at the very bottom put in your creator name and also type in your mod name. For this particular tutorial, I'm just going to call this trait tutorial. And then you click create mod on the right. And then on the left hand panel at the bottom left, you click on add element and then choose trait and click create element. Click on the element here on the left and then you can name your trait. So for this particular trait, I'll just call it example trait. You can put in your description. And then you can choose the icon by clicking on the square here. You can either choose from the library that's been provided by Zerbu, or you can choose custom images if you want to browse on your computer and import an image. Next, you can choose what type. Personality or cast selectable traits are traits that will appear in cast and also can be automatically assigned at random to sims. There's also gameplay traits. These have to be assigned through actions that take place in the game. Hidden traits, traits that are not seen. Aspirational traits. And childhood phase traits. That's based on parenthood. You can also choose the ages that will be able to assign this trait. Okay, and so I'm just going to remember to go now and Put this back in personality. So you can select it in cast. And also here category, this will determine where your trait will show up. So we're going to leave it here under emotional category, but if you want, you can change it hobby, lifestyle, social. When a particular sim has this trait, you can modify their skills needs, relationships, emotions, and buffs, and so on, how often, how fast or slow they gain these particular elements. So for example, if you wanted them to be able to gain knowledge quicker, let's look for, for example, logic, and select it. Now we can use this little slider to decide how fast or slow they will be able to gain logic. So for example, we slide it over to the right, it increases, and to the left, it decreases. So, for example, I'm going to make it so that a person or sim with this particular trait will be able to gain logic twice as fast. You can do this for needs as well. So, let's say, for example, you wanted someone to uh, lose energy at a at a faster rate, you can also do this and slide it to the right. And that way they will lose energy at a faster rate. If you want it to go slower, it's going from one, just keep sliding it down. You can also do the same with relationships. Maybe this particular sim has a, has a difficult time making relationships with other sims. You can decrease how quickly they build relationships by sliding this to the left. The next section is actions. So you can make it so that a sum with this particular trait has certain actions happen at a, a particular interval. So click create, for example, and then you can browse. Now I'll go over actions in a, pre, in a future tutorial. But for now, you can choose things that are already in the game. And these are different loots or actions based on buffs that are already in the game. So for example, every 10 minutes, this sim will get 5,000 simoleons. And you can remove actions by simply clicking. Again, we'll cover this in a future tutorial. Autonomy. Here you can make sims uh, behave a certain way with this trait. 
you can do it based on what are called commodities that are already in the game. So for example, let's say if you wanted the sim to behave in a similar way that the mean sims, sims with the mean trait behave, you can choose this commodity and then you can decrease it or increase it. So if you do this, this sim will perform a lot of mean interaction and you can add as many as you want. And you can kind of play around with this to see how best you want to assign your commodities. And again, this affects autonomy for the sim. Broadcasters. In a previous tutorial, I explained broadcasters basically send out or broadcast a buff to sims that are around this particular sim. So if you click create, you can create your broadcaster or browse for one that's already in the game. So for example, you can broadcast jealousy. Anyone around this particular sim will experience jealousy, for example. Buff replacement. So this, um, we, we caution you, both Servu, the creator of this particular program, and myself, caution you from using this because this is going to replace buffs that are already in the game. It can cause certain things not to work correctly if you replace the wrong buff. So if you want, you can add a replacement and you can choose which buff to replace. Again, be cautious with using this option. Mixer interaction. So these are, as explained, different idols that can be explained, I'm sorry, that can be performed by the sim with this trait. And you can either use an existing interaction or you can create a new one. You can create as many as you want. Once you create them, click open tab, and then you can start defining. Now I'll go over this in a future tutorial. And now I just want to show you this option. And if you want to remove them, just click remove. Proximity boats I also covered in the previous tutorial. So basically this, this sim will get certain buffs if they're around another sim that has certain traits that you set. And again, you can create a buff. These are setup actions. So if you use gameplay traits, you can set the actions that will decide when this gets set up. Again, this is an action set, which I'll cover in the future and I'll show you. You'll be able to add this particular action here. You can also create your own special social interaction. So for example, if you want to listen to, you can customize it here, listen to the Sims custom interaction. You can rename this to the actual interaction. Special cases. So here you can have an origin. This appears underneath the trait. So set, for example, when it says like from completing a custom aspiration, from being sad, from being angry, you can type that here. You can have the relationships, make it non-persistent, meaning it won't save when traveling. You can make this um, particular trait so that the sim is immune to death. You can make it so this, is, this trait is only applied to NPCs. You can block aging for certain groups and you can provide voice effects. So if you wanted to assume with this particular trait to have different voice effects, you can click browse. And you can give them a robot voice, the flower bunny voice, alien voice, ghost voice, or voice. You can also block the sim with this trait from getting certain emotions. So, for example, if you wanted a stoic sim that never gets happy or inspired or playful, you can block these different moods. Click select. So, I'll block these just for this example. And then you can add permanent buffs. So, buffs that will always exist for this particular sim. And last, we have wants and fears. So, the wants and fears um, feature that was implemented can now be used here as well. Click create, create, and you can create wants and fears. So if you just want to have a trait that was just a fear base, you can just use this section.
can set a score. Oh, for the future, just for example, you can set a cooldown if you want. And then you can choose the goals. What goals will uh, basically exist for this particular sphere and availability? What conditions should happen for them to get this particular water fear? And you can have it always run. Based on buffs, I'll put always run just for now, just to show this example. So now I'm going to export this package and see how it looks in game. I'm going to save it in my mods folder. Okay, close, perfect. And now I can open up. Just go ahead and randomize the name, and let's look, take a look at our tree. So you'll see us here under emotional example tree. There it is. We'll just add a few other ones. We'll just add in them. Okay, and let's go into game. Okay. And you'll see that loot I've put on with the um, action every 10 minutes, 5,000 simulates. You'll see we just got 5,000 simulates. You'll see another 5,000 every 10 minutes. So that's because I assigned a loot action. Okay, and that's our tree. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.